If Harry wishes to criticize country and government, he has lost the right to be a British prince. The Duke of Sussex testified in his case against the Mirror Group newspapers over alleged unlawful information gathering on Tuesday and Wednesday. Prince Harry was rebuked by a High Court judge for missing the first day of proceedings because of his daughter Lilibet's birthday. Over two days, Harry took to the witness box to give evidence and in his witness statement said he thought the government was at rock bottom. Readers are convinced by Prince Harry's case as they argue that it lacks hard evidence. Many condemned his criticism of press intrusion, saying he betrayed the privacy of his own family for money with his memoir spare. Asked about when he first aimed to bring a claim against MGN, Harry said it came from a discussion about how to find a way to stop the abuse and intrusion that was coming against me and my wife. He said Harry bumped into his lawyer, um, she, uh, Dr. David Chabon in France in 2018 and said the initial discussions were about finding a way to stop the abuse without relying on the institution's lawyers. He also claimed he may have been hacked on a daily basis for a 15-year period. After taking the Duke through all of the territory articles being considered in the case, Andrew Green Casey asked him when he first approached solicitors about making a claim against the MGN. Harry said, I didn't go to them. I bumped into Mr. Sherbon in France. It is my first. It's in my first book. First, um, asked when this meeting took place. The Duke said, "It's referenced in my book, 2018." Mr. Green asked if, before he spoke to the lawyers, he had concerns about any particular articles being the result of unlawful activity. Harry said, "No, I was never shown anything. It was all contained within the palace." He added that even if he had been shown anything, he would not have been allowed to make a complaint. Mr. Green put on to the Duke that he was never being able to identify any story in an MGN publication to have come from phone hacking. Harry replied, I think that it's a question of mendicancy. There is a hard evidence to suggest an incredible amount of suspiciousness and I believe the burner phones were used extensively. When asked if there was a particular voicemail which he believed was intercepted, he answered, I can't remember a specific voicemail that I left over the last 20 years. Harry told the court he believed there was industrial scale um, destruction of evidence of unlawful information gathering in relation to him. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.